Imagine owning a watch that contained an element of an iconic World War II aircraft, perhaps a tiny part from a Lancaster bomber, Spitfire, or even the fighter that shot down more enemy aircraft than any other during the Battle of Britain, the Hawker Hurricane. Thanks to the British brand Zero West, you can do just that. So let's take a look at their innovative H2. We chat a great deal on the Watch Gecko YouTube channel and magazine about military watches. Most of the models we discuss are either surviving vintage gems, such as my colleague Anthony's 1940s Omega Dirty Dozen, or accurate modern reproductions of the watches that were worn during the conflict, such as the Presidus A11. However, the Zero West H2 we have here today is neither of these. It is in every measurable way a modern creation, absolutely unique yet inspired by something 80 years old and holding a secret that will give you a direct link to the Hurricane aircraft. We have just passed the anniversary of the end of the Battle of Britain in 1940, so to coincide with this, Zero West has released a stunning new watch with a limited release of just 50 units. The H2 timepiece has a dial design based on the slip turn indicator of the Mark I Hurricane. In an aircraft, this dial gives a visual reference as to the rate of turn and whether the bank is coordinated and under control, hence the left and right markers. The dial also displays the date of the battle's hardest day, 18th of August 1940, when around 30 fighters, 70 bombers and a large number of crew were lost on both sides. The Hurricane fighter played an integral part in the air battle and this is where the H2 watch becomes really special. It has mounted in the case back an original metal disc cut from the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine of Hurricane P3708 which fought on that day piloted by Sergeant Pilot Alexander Jock Girdwood. Girdwood was shot down on the hardest day and his aircraft, P3708, crashed on Foulness Island, which is off the coast of England. Incredibly, he survived the crash and returned to active service, only to be sadly killed a few months later in combat. The wreckage of P3708 remained buried and forgotten until it was found and excavated in 1990. It is from this wreckage that Zero West took a small amount of metal to incorporate within the limited H2 watches. The Zero West H2 is housed in a precision machined bead blasted 41mm case. It has a distinct deep black dial with an accurate representation of the Hurricane's slip turn indicator, one of the few components to survive the crash. Only an upper quadrant and lower quadrant of indices appears on the watch, adding to the avionic dial feel. Despite the missing indices, the time is easy to read. Military accurate sword hands, more reminiscent of classic dive watches, complement the design ethos. A polished bezel surrounds the dial and all dial timekeeping elements are coated with Superluminova X1. Foulness Island's latitude and longitude coordinates, where Hurricane P3708 was recovered, are also printed on the dial. Turn the H2 over and we see the case back, which is the heart of the machine. Here we can see a small textured disc held firmly in place. This is a thin part of the original Rolls-Royce Merlin engine of Hurricane P3708, recast and finished to match the watch. This precious metal is protected by a reverse printed sapphire crystal that records the aircraft number and Churchill's famous words regarding the battle. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few, referring to the handful of RAF pilots who held an entire invasion at bay. Just when you think the watch could not be more evocative, we discover the crown. This is a small brass clone of the original joystick trigger which fired the Hurricane's 8.303 machine guns. Each of these guns carried 300 rounds and fired approximately 1,150 rounds per minute with an effective range of 400 meters. There are so many deeply meaningful Hurricane and Battle of Britain links to this watch, it's easy to forget there is a quality timepiece here. The H2 is powered by a top premium grade SW200-1 automatic movement and is fitted with a custom Zero West aerospace grade rubber strap and buckle, all designed in-house. My first reaction to rubber was that it could be an odd choice, maybe leather would have seemed more in keeping, but it works really well and is a quality match to the watch head. The H2 is technically a great watch and has all the correct elements you would need from a modern timepiece. However, it is the moving, innovative design which makes the watch. Not only does the whole package look like a cockpit dial, but the inclusion of material from a Battle of Britain hurricane makes the watch genuinely collectible. 
The Zero West H2 is available now priced at £3,700. You can see all of their watches in a website link below including similar styles connected to the Lancaster and Spitfire along with non-military models with integrated parts from the Flying Scotsman steam train. With this much innovation, British watchmaking is in safe hands. Utilising finite metal components will only add to the exclusivity of these watches. To own one will serve as a constant reminder of the huge sacrifice made by a few young men from July to October 1940, which kept our country free from invasion. We have many more military watch chats on the channel. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe and we'll be back soon with more reviews.